Hi everyone, I'm Rena Ninen. You're looking at live pictures out of Charlottesville, Virginia. This is where violent clashes have broken out between white nationalists and counter protests there. Joining me on the phone right now to give us a sense of what's going on on the ground is CBS News Justice reporter Paula Reed. Paula, these protests have really escalated today. What are you seeing and what can you tell us? Uh, Rena, this is a very tense situation. We were here just six weeks ago when the Ku Klux Klan came to town to protest the fact that the city is trying to take down a statue of Robert E. Lee. At that time, there were about a thousand counter protesters and about 40 Klansmen. But today is a completely different situation. There are well over a thousand people here representing several different groups. Um, you have people just representing the Confederacy, you have people representing Black Lives Matter, you have anti fascist groups. And so far, it has it has been somewhat violent. Um, there has been tear gas. There has been pepper spray. There have been a lot of objects being thrown. I don't know what you can see in your feed right now. Right now, there are water bottles being chucked uh, at people left, right, sideways. We've seen several members of the press also assaulted, uh, people covering their cameras, people spraying pepper spray in their face. So it is a very tense situation in this usually very sleepy uh, college town of Charlottesville, Virginia. Paula, what's slightly confusing is we're seeing some people with shields that usually the police have, uh, shields and, and almost batons. But it, my understanding is I believe that this may be uh, more of the white nationalists using this gear. Have you seen that? Yes, I have seen several groups using what, what appear to be sort of SWAT gear, but they're absolutely not the police. They're uh, trade workers unions, or at least that's what they have on their shield. Um, and yes, some white nationalist groups that it's not the police that you're seeing with those white shields with the black the black duct tape across them. Um, they also have helmets, again, things that kind of replicate police gear, but absolutely not being worn by the police. I will say that the police presence here is much lighter uh, than it was for the KKK rally. It's not clear to me if that is by design. Uh, the National Guard is here. There was supposed to be a very heavy police presence. But telling you standing in the middle of this, it's not a particularly safe uh, situation for anyone. Paula, the police knew that this was going to happen today and that there was a chance this could get escalated. What were their plans? Have you heard anything more? Were there arrests been made yet? Yes, we spoke with the mayor earlier today. He said there was an extensive rollout of the National Guard, of state police. They had a plan. One problem is that they did not, the city did not want to have this in this particular location because it is a very congested location. It is hard for them to sort of set up the pens and alleyways uh, that they would usually uh, set up. I don't know if you can see this. There is some sort of gas or smoke uh, being dispensed right now. Uh, everyone is fleeing the scene. Um, but, again, this is not where they wanted to have this rally. I wonder if that's maybe some sort of tear gas that the police are dispensing. Is there a way of, of, of telling whether it's protesters dispensing that or police? Again, it appears all of the things that have been dispensed so far, I have seen dispensed by protesters. I have not actually seen the police dispense pepper spray or tear gas or any of it. It has all actually been by the protesters themselves. It's fascinating to hear it you say that. We're in this situation right now. Uh, we're sort of in the crowd. Who is dispensing this? We're in a large cloud. We're looking at a live image right now coming out of Charlottesville, Virginia, of the police in green. Uh, vests suited up, uh, racing into what appears to be likely the crowd there, Paula. Tell me more about the police presence that you witnessed. Again, I've been surprised that it hasn't been a larger police presence at the KKK rally six weeks ago, and we were here to cover that. Uh, there were probably about five police officers for every member of the KKK, but here it'd probably take a small army uh, to get up to that ratio. But again, there are people who are wearing what appear to be police police attire, but they are not actually police. They are members of some of these groups wearing helmets, carrying shields, things like that. Uh, the actual police are behind some barriers. Uh, they do, they're, they're certainly aware, they're watching the situation, but it is um, a smaller police presence than what I would have anticipated.